you guys are not going to believe. So my wife's 2016 Boxster, um, I think just turned 30,000 miles on. It snapped a ball joint, which, come on, 30,000 miles? So I get the lugs out of the wheel already. I haven't worked in the driveway with you guys in forever. But wait to see what I had to do to get it out of the street. This is true. Uh, backyard. I don't know when the last time I used bailing wire on a Porsche was, but um, I had to bailing wire <laughs> the knuckle back to the lower ball joint because somehow... There's no nut there. And you can tell there was one there. I mean, I've been under this car before. I've looked in there. I know there's a nut there. But um, I was driving it. We were coming back from church. You can see right in there. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. You can see where the spline is separating in there. So basically what happened was uh, we were pulling into the driveway. I turned a corner to make a U-turn in our street. And it separated right here and the wheel literally folded out of the wheelhouse and it fell on the ground. Ran the rim into the body right there. Hopefully some dentless repair guy can fix that. Um, then I tried to move forward a little bit, caught it right here a little. Uh, really not sure, looked online. A couple other guys have had snap ball joints. It's only like four of us ever, so. Down to my local Porsche dealer, pardon how dirty it is. It's been sitting for a week outside with no cover or anything because we couldn't get it inside. I had to get a new knuckle. This piece right here is the piece you're seeing that literally pulled out. But that's because there was no nut there. And uh, I think it snapped because the actual stud of the ball joint isn't even in there anymore. Um, I don't know. It developed a little creak in the front end. I went over uh, a couple speed bumps or something. I also got to do the lower control line. Let me show you what we're doing here. So this part is missing. <laughs> so it's like it snapped off right here, right there. And then when it snapped off, um, you know, there's no fastener holding it right here. So it just eventually worked this thing out and it had a little tiny, creek in the front end almost the type of creek you get um you know when a uh 996s when the strut rod bushings wear out the compliance bushings almost like that anyways uh this is part one i'll pull it apart and you know it snapped the um snapped the headlight adjuster plastic loose so i gotta replace that uh like i said i took some bailing wire Bailing wired it back together in the street, jacked it up. Luckily, I was in front of my house, guys. No speed on the freeway or nothing, like five miles an hour when this thing failed. Not even that, probably three miles an hour when it failed. So, and thank goodness my wife or my daughter weren't driving it. So, um, that's it. Like I said, I've only seen four other guys online that have written in a forum that have had a problem. It's freaking ridiculous. And this car's never been wrecked. They were, were the... Second owner, I knew the original owner, so it's not anything like that. It's never hit a pothole hard enough to ding or dent a rim, so uh, I'm not sure. All right, stay tuned.